Hello, I'm Mike Levin, and I talked about how my site and upcoming book is going to be about technology education, and of course that's such a broad topic that my next video is going to be about narrowing it down to the parts I'm really going to cover. So I'm mostly talking about digital electronics, and even that has to be clarified versus just plain electronics, because that word digital is very loaded, and the distinction has to be drawn. So in the world of electronics, it, it really breaks into a, an imaginary divide. On this side is all things analog, or radio, or there's a lot of ways to say it, infinite resolution. And this is really the way our, our natural world works. There's a bunch of interesting, uh, almost punchlines built into existence. And one of them is that if you coil a wire just so and connect it to another coiled wire, this one with a magnetic core and uh, some paper to amplify the resonance, you get either a radio where you can tune in uh, broadcasts or you also get a transmitter. The same device that lets you tune in messages lets you broadcast messages. And this works based on uh, the principles of continuous signal variation analog. Now over here on the digital world, there's actually a trick working. You take that same infinite resolution of analog and then you shovel it down a particular path, all in line, all in a row. And then you slam it into a switch. Let's draw the switch by making a little notch there, a little thing coming in there and so if this represents uh, the flow of say electronics electrons or even water visualize it as water for a second you've taken what could be this infinite expression of wavelengths and energies and because of this switch here you have reduced that to basically two states. It is either flowing or not flowing. That can also be expressed as on versus off. Or in a the terminology that's often used, one or zero, which is also interestingly similar to the expression I-O for input-output. At any rate, the entire world of digital electronics relies on this trick using switches in order to simplify our world. And that makes everything that's about to follow much easier to understand. We are actually taking a world that is full of a richness and a sort of uh, infinity and we're reducing it to just a finite set.